Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome back to Model Kit Monday. Today, we're taking the high grade Iron Blooded Orphans Gundam Bile Metallic Gloss Injection. Now, this is a limited edition kit that was released exclusively with Funimation's uh, release of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans Season 2. Now, this set included the Gundam Bile as well as Part 1 and Part 2 of the Season 2 Blu ray DVD combo packs, a little flimsy art book that's a little sturdier than the Season 1 edition and it's all in a nice wrapped box. Now, I didn't do an unboxing for this set because I didn't feel like I needed to. It's very similar to the Season 1 Iron Blood Orphan set, uh, which included a Barbatos metallic gloss injection. I do appreciate that the bio was brought over with metallic gloss colors for the North American release of the series. Taking a look at the kit itself, the ASWD-01 Gundam Bile is the flagship mobile suit for Gallarhorn. It's the symbol of the leadership. It's the pinnacle of Gallarhorn's dominance. They look at it as whoever controls the bile is the one to control Gallarhorn. Now, uh, Megillus Farid used this, of course, to his own advantage, which provided him uh, instant power play for most of Gallarhorn. Now, the Gundam bile itself, how on the other hand, isn't that impressive, honestly. It's a very standard mobile suit. It's listed as being the first Gundam frame from the Calamity War, and it really shows. The kit's very simple. It's white and blue, which is the colors of Gallarhorn. Uh, it's got some wings, but overall, it's nothing too insane. The actual model kit, of course, is the same Gundam frame we have for all of the Iron Blooded Orphans kits, uh, which is a really solid frame, but it is getting a little loose uh, in places with certain kits. Um, but the metallic gloss injection version of this kit, as you can see, has a nice reflectiveness, kind of a sparkly plastic. Nothing too different. I'm not seeing myself going out and getting a regular bile kit. This is definitely going to accommodate. Um, but yeah, it is still a very basic design, but at least the metallic gloss injection kind of gives it a little bit of shine. Uh, articulation is fantastic. You've got full range of movement in the neck, uh, two joints there plus full ball jointed shoulders, you have bicep swivels, moving shoulder pads, full elbow bend, wrist joints, uh, waist, even an ab crunch, you have hips that have universal movement, a swivel, a double jointed knee, uh, the ankles are insane, they can tip left and right, up and down, forward, back, anything you want. Even the wings are pretty good as they do have outward range movement um, and they can be pulled back into whatever pose you want and even the uh, skirt armor and the blade holders. Now, the bio swords themselves are very standard. They are gold swords with gray handles. I really don't have much else to say on them. They're very, very basic. But they are the primary weapon of the Gundam bio. Uh, you can, of course, store these swords into the sword holders that are on the bio itself, and it fits pretty well and snug. Uh, it does have a nice hold to it, and you can also position them uh, appropriately to have the bio draw them for battle. Uh, which is really cool. Now, him using the swords looks pretty great, but that's kind of the bit of the kit. Uh, there is no other hands, there are no other weapons. Accurate to the series itself, the Gundam Bile is very minimal on weaponry. In fact, that kind of makes it slightly an underwhelming kit in a way, because there's not a lot you can do with it in terms of variety. Now, because of the intense articulation that comes from the Gundam frame for IBO, you do get a lot of movement and options there, but actual weapon options are pretty limited. I must say that despite only having two weapons, there are some cool dynamic poses to get the Gundam Bile into, but like I said, it's really kind of underwhelming. So it's going to be up to you whether or not the limitations of the Bile are going to be, you know, worth tracking down this kit, either in the 1 to 144 scale or the very similar 1 to 100 scale. That being said, I think it's a great companion piece to an IBO collection that previously exists, and it's a good fighting opponent for the Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex, which I probably should get around to reviewing someday. The two of them look good, and they can square off for battle, which is really appropriate. Also, if you have the Kimaras Vidar, that'll also do the job. But that's pretty much it for the Gundam Bile. I think that, personally speaking, I didn't buy a, a, a Bile before I bought the Season 2 Blu-ray for Iron-Blooded Orphans, so I think that kind of leads to the thing of it may not be a kit you go track down too much. It was a very inexpensive kit, which gives you a lot of work. But if you're buying Iron Blood Orphan Season 2 on Blu-ray, throw in the 10 bucks or whatever to, or save yourself money, depending on where you look. And see if you can get the limited edition and get a free bile kit with your Blu-ray purchase. Uh, it's kind of the best way to go. 
that does it for this week on Model Kit Monday. Kind of a short episode, but what can you do? The bile doesn't have a whole lot going on. Uh, stay tuned for next week, every Monday at 7 p.m. for Gundam reviews here on Model Kit Monday. And till next time, this is Sound Outside. Goodbye. Thank you.